what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Brittany Gilliam was on a girl's trip with her niece's sister and daughter to get their nails done early Sunday morning when suddenly they were surrounded by police in a parking lot. Police told them to get out of the car, put them down, face down on the ground and cuffed some of them. The girls ranged in age six to 17. The Aurora police said in a statement that the officers conducted a traffic stop of Gilliam's car on the belief it was stolen because it shared the plate number of a stolen motorcycle. The police statement said that the officer's confusion may have been due in part to the fact that the car Gilliam was driving was reported stolen earlier in the year back in February. I'm not buying it. The girls were on the ground crying. One girl asked for her mother, another girl asked can she be on the side of her sister? Can she be next to her sister? The savage Aurora police officers showed absolutely no compassion to these young girls, treated them like animals. This is the problem with police agencies all over America. There are way too many cops out there who has this attitude that black people are less. Therefore, they can just treat black people any kind of way. These uncivilized bastards should have been fired by now. But you know the play. Well, we are investigating. If I'm the family, oh, I'm suing their asses. I'm suing the city. I'm going to tear that ass up from lawsuits. I'm going hard. I'm going to hit everybody I can think of. Everybody getting sued. Family, that is the only way to stop them. They don't really respond to anything else. Well, there's one other thing that can be done, but... You know, y'all know what it is. But other than that, the main thing, though, is accountability. Over everything is accountability. They're not being held accountable. If they were, I can guarantee you, like that, they'll stop. Like that. America is fueled by blood and money. Think I'm lying? When you talk about money, you get people's attention. You talk about somebody getting killed or beat up, getting the brakes beat off them, somebody leaking, you get their attention. You can be in the room with a billionaire and just having a conversation or whatever, whatever. That person can be right there in front of you and you don't even say one word to them. As soon as they walk off, somebody say, man, you know that's such, such, such. Yeah, man, he worth a billion dollars. Oh yeah, now you're trying to figure out how to circle back to have a conversation with them, how to get a business card or something. You're on the street, walking down the street. Uh, you walk up to the grocery store or whatever, and somebody walk up and say, man, yeah, man, you heard what happened to John? What? Oh man, man, dude shot him in the air. Oh, no, for real? Like, damn, you don't even know John, but that got your attention. That's how America operates. These police officers need to be held accountable. There is no other way. And not just one time. They need to be held accountable all the time so that there can be that cloud hanging over their head and they know 
I don't want to do that because they know how to behave when it's time to behave. Trust you, me. They don't act that way with everybody. There's certain people they know not to do that with. It's not the training. They don't need more training. They know when to de-escalate and when not to. Okay, it's a stolen car. A car full of women. Little girls. Girls. Even if the damn car is stolen, it ain't that damn serious. Then you had these lousy ass women cops out there. They couldn't even muster up some compassion. Same thing. No compassion whatsoever, fam. This is why people are calling for black officers patrolling black communities. But I'm going further than that. I'm saying that the bottom line is that there need to be accountability because what happens when black people go outside of those boundaries? When you go outside of the neighborhood, you're going to come in contact with the police. The police should be sitting there waiting on you to cross the line. Up, pew, as soon as you cross that line, pew, got them. You see? So you're still going to come in contact with those types. So that adding black officers and black to patrol black communities is not the end all be all. There has to be systemic change. That's the only way. Because right now, you have a problem that is systemic. So the change has to be systemic. These fools, every single one of them, the women too, their asses need to be fired. And after that, we talking an immediate loss. In fact, I'm talking about law. I'm, I'm talking to lawyers right now, if it's me. And we getting the paperwork ready right now. And I'm going all the way in. And I'm suing everybody. And since they want to treat black folks like slaves, I'm going to hit them so hard, I'm going to own their asses. No more talk. What the haters talking about?